this video, I will be showing you how I make my rainbow mugs from Stroke and Coat by Mako and Honey Flux from Amico. The first thing I do is select my colors and lay them all out in the way I want to put them on the mug. That way, if I have to go back around the mug, I know which ones I've already used and which ones will circle around back to connect to the ones that are in rainbow order. For stroking coat, you need two thick coats to make it so it doesn't seem streaky or watercolor looking. I put it on really thick and instead of using a paintbrush, I just smear it around onto the cup until it's soaked in enough and has a nice thick layer. And I don't add a second coat because I think my first layer is thick enough that it will have a really saturated color. After my first color is laid, then I take my second color and I squirt it on overlapping the first color. And since it's rainbow and I want it to melt together, I generally kind of swoosh them together and then smooth them out so they kind of blend in together. I do this for every color all the way around the mug. And if it's on really thick and it looks kind of lumpy and uneven, I will go back and smooth it out a little bit just so it doesn't run all over the place, I guess, in an uncontrolled way. I also like to push some of the glaze up to the top and tap it on the rim just so I know that the colors will be up there and covering the rim and not just the honey flux. Continue this process for all the colors you want to use. Here is the outside of my first mug. I haven't done the handle yet because it's hard to hold on to when it's wet. Don't forget to get the inside in the same order that you put it on the outside. Here are both of the mugs that I did today and wait for this to dry before you put on your honey flux. Here is Amico's honey flux which I have found is the best flux to use. I have tried Spectrum's floating glaze, um, the blue pearl or white pearl or whatever it is and it's very runny compared to honey flux. I find that honey flux is a lot easier to control um, and the spectrum one changes the color a little bit too probably because it has blue in it so it really makes the greens kind of like a swampy green um, and I just find that honey flux kind of mutes the colors and makes them more of like a pastel, I call it sherbet color. Um, and this is the application for that. This jar of honey flux I'm using right now is really thick compared to the last jar that I have. Um, so I put one thick layer on the entire piece and then you can see um, in the next clip that I only do about the top um, three quarters of it just so that the flux in it doesn't completely melt all the way off. You can put it on thicker on the inside because obviously it won't melt off and glaze to your shelves um, and it is kind of fun to see all of the colors pool in the bottom of your mug. That was the first coat done. On the second coat, like I said before, I only put it on the top three quarters and leave the bottom just as that first coat. I also do the same thing on the handle where I only put an extra coat on the top of the handle because I find that the handles run more as well and then at the bottom of the handle there will be a pool of um, glaze that can potentially get stuck to your kiln shelf. And like I said, on the inside you can really load it up and it's not going to go anywhere. I've never had bubbling or anything so far. Um, we'll see how these turn out.